In this video, we're going to show you how to record and play back data. Before we jump into the main topic of this video, if you're new to my channel, this channel is all about robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision, so subscribe to learn more. I have a bunch of playlists on computer vision, software, mechanical. This one's on OpenCV, ROS2, Python, C++, Git, mechanical design, SOLIDWORKS, and here's my GitHub that goes along with it. So let's jump back into the topic of this video. So ROS topics can be recorded using ROS bags and playback from the recorded bag file. So let's take a look at how that looks. So here we're gonna start uh, two terminals, one for our turtle sim node. So ROS to run turtle sim turtle sim node. So our turtle sim node should pop up. And then in our other one, we're going to run our teleop. So ROS, ROS to run turtle sim turtle uh, teleop key. So we have our teleop key going. And then in our other one, we want to see our topic list to see which uh, topics we could record. So ROS to topic list. And you can see that these are all the topic lists that's available. So right now we're interested in the command velocity. So we can also echo out the command velocity by doing ROS2 topic echo and the name of the um, the name of the topic that we're interested in. So we have turtle one and then command velocity. So this will echo out the velocity as we move the turtle. So you can see it's outputting something. So if we want to record the movement of our turtle, we could actually use the ROS2 bag record command. So if we do ROS2 bag record, and then we have the dash O, which will give us the option to name our data folder. So we're gonna call this bag data. And then we pass in our turtle one command velocity. So this will mean that it's gonna store our motion as we move the teleop. So you can see I'm moving it giving us some motion, and it's going to be recording this. So once I'm done recording, I could hit Control C and it'll stop recording. So if we want to view the bag info, we could go in here and type ROS2 bag info bag data. So this will tell us all the info about our bag. It says the files, file size, storage ID, duration, start, and messages, topic information. Okay, so if we want to go ahead and play back this bag info, we do ROS2 bag play and then the path. So it's just called bag data. So notice that now my turtle is up and running the same path that we just did. And of course, it's going to be a relative location. So it's just going to start from where it uh, last stopped. Okay, so that's how you play back the um, turtle motion. In my next video, I'm going to talk about how to build packages with Colkin, so go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.